Hey guys, welcome to Dark Will Fix It. So we're back. Um, our LG TV is playing up again. So remember in the previous video, you can see the link for it. We switched the board over to make it work well. Eventually that board went as well. So um, now I've decided to go via the baking route. So we have our ovens on. And you can see it's at gas mark 200 C Celsius. So we put it in at 200. Um, and it's ready because the light's off, which means that the cooker's at that temperature every time the, on this cooker when it uh, drops below that temperature, the cooker, the light comes back on to say it's building the heat back up. So we have our board. So I'm just going to bring the board in. One second. So we have the board, which is for my 42 inch LG TV. You can see in our previous video, I'll post the, the mod number again. This is the original board. Um, the one that failed initially, which I swapped out, but I kept it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook or bake the board to help the solder reset. So the plan is, is to leave it in the oven, once the oven's at 200, which it is, uh, to leave it in there for 10 minutes. Once it's in for 10 minutes, you let it, once you finish, once 10 minutes is up, you open up the oven door and you let it cool down gradually. I've been told, don't let it cool down too fast otherwise it might damage the board so and so on so it's gonna get pretty hot so you need to be real careful don't be silly don't be stupid use your brain um, this is not something that anyone else should try unless you're absolutely confident you know what you're doing um, and you're a bit of a techie so in that case it's fine okay um, so just be careful always be ready um, so 10 minutes in the oven and then we will see what happens once um, once it comes out and cools down, then we'll pull it back into the TV and see if that makes a difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back on the stand so you can watch me put this bad boy in. So, here we go. So it's on a cardboard. You can see that it's on a cardboard. So you can see it's on a cardboard, right? There you go. So just a piece of cardboard. It shouldn't burn. I've seen a lot of people do it now. So 200, 10 minutes. There it goes, it's in, and uh, you can see that, we're going to close the oven, and we're going to give it 10 minutes, I was going to set my stopwatch, I'm not, I don't know how to use a timer yet on that oven, but you can see my Sony smartwatch is on, on the case, so we're going to stop it in 10 minutes, so let's see how it goes, uh, come back in a minute and I'll give you an update on how it goes so hopefully I heard it kind of stinks a bit when we do it so look 17 seconds it's in there I'm just gonna put the video on pause and see what happens in 10 minutes all right catch you in a minute all right guys we're at halfway point it's coming up to five minutes so a quick look and you can see that on the watch come to five minutes um, and it seems to be okay um, I watched a few videos on it and it, they say it smells and it is smelling I can smell it um, it's like a small solder I can, it smells like when you son, someone's got a soldering iron and you're soldering stuff back it actually does smell like that um, it's quite a strong smell so just open up the windows um, and it should be okay fingers crossed it's still going got another few minutes to go so we'll be back for the end here we go we're on the last 10 seconds boom done all right we're going to quickly take this out we're, well, we're going to take it out slowly we can turn the oven off okay off. we're going to open up the door Oof. you can see that the board is in there smoking a bit Lots of uh, fumes and stuff. Just let them out. Make sure the windows are open. Uh, turn the other light off. Okay. So it's there. <laughs> is it going to work is the question. <laughs> Alright. We're going to let it cool down. You need to call, let it cool down for about 10 minutes. Um, let's see if we can just... I don't want to take it out just yet. Might slide it out a bit so it can cool down a bit more. Just about there. We'll let it cool down. It is pretty hot. So I just need to give it a little time. Um, so I'll cool down, I would say, 10 minutes before you start messing with it. It will still probably be hot. I heard they still radiate quite a bit of heat when you start, uh, when you actually take it out. So just give it some time. There's no rush. 
If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. But hopefully this will do the trick, I think. Um, so we'll just let all the fumes come out and let it cool down in in the next 5 to 10 minutes and we'll come back. While we do that, we're going to prep the TV. So once it's ready, we can put the board straight in. Um, and if you want to see how to prep the TV or to remove the board from the TV, you can watch the previous video, which shows how we uh, tear down the LG um, the LG uh, TV. Okay, catch you back in a minute. All right, so we're going to take it out, and we're going to... It still needs another five minutes to cool down at least. I'm going to put it on the worktop, and we'll have a closer look to make sure... Uh, to have a look at what the current state of the board is after it's been through the oven. All right? So... We're just gonna, I'm just going to grab it from the cardboard, hopefully it doesn't. It seems to be pretty solid. I'll just put it up here. So we can have a close look. So let's have a closer look. Everything seems to be in its place. I don't see anything that's melted per se. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Seems to be alright, you know. Seems to be still in one piece. There are plastics on it, but they probably melt at a higher temperature than that. So, the question is... Is it going to work? So, um, I think, let's have a look at what's the stopwatch saying. Stopwatch is saying 17 minutes now. So, um, I think we'll give it another five minutes and then we'll see if it's, hand if we can handle it or not. I'll, I'll check it. But once it's cooled down enough, we'll stick it back in the TV and see if it's done the trick. All right, catch you in a minute. All right, so the board's cooled down. You can see it there. There you go, it looks pretty, I can handle it. It actually didn't take that long to cool down, so 10 minutes was okay. Um, we've got the TV in, TV's back, so we need to reposition this board. We need to put this little black strip back on, which is all the right, so you can see from the outside of what socket goes where, blah, blah, blah. So that just goes there, and then the screws will basically hold this bad boy in. that, like that, so we'll quickly redo the screws, screw the board back to the TV before we plug it in, so we don't want it to be too loose, okay, one, next one, there's four screws on this, you can see it in my other videos as well I think, I think I'll demonstrate how to replace the board. So remember, this has been in the oven for 10 minutes. <laughs> I actually hope this works. After all that, st I stunk the house out, by the way. The house stinks. My mum's like, what the hell's going on? I told her I'm, bake I told her I'm baking cakes, so I was like, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm baking cakes, mum. She's like, what? Okay. I broke a little clip on there. There should be a clip coming off this black thing. Or a little bracket that goes through the screw, between the screw and the board. Um, I snapped it just now. I sat on it by accident, but that's life. So, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to reconnect this board up. Just move it. So plug these back in. Plug this back in. And there. What else do we have? We're missing something, alright, we've got this one. Okay. Now we've got this little thing here. So this one has to slide in into the slot. And once it's there, you just need to clip. It feels a bit short to be honest, but to just make sure it's in. I don't see a wire for it. Just one, two, three, four. The 
Did I miss it? Don't think so. Alright, so I'm going to turn this TV around and we'll see what happens. Okay, moment of truth. Uh, TV's in, it's plugged in. I've not closed it up yet. I've got it leaning against the sofa. Uh, power's on, you can see the red light's on. Now, if I do this, is this thing going to actually work? Okay, that's fine. That's what we expect. Are we going to see input? Oh shit, it worked! <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's asking for the password. I've got a password because kids watch a bit too much TV. Is it back? <laughs> yeah, gangster, <laughs> gangster. Let's just check the inputs are all on. <laughs> yeah, bad boy. <laughs> so we're back in business. So that's it. That's how we did it. We baked the bad boy. We baked the board. Uh, any questions on that, you can ask me. I'll try and answer them. I am not an expert on it, but I thought I'd give it a shot. I had nothing to lose. TV's busted, so I thought, why not? I'll give it a shot. And there you go, people. Done, dusted, working. Let's hope it stays that way. Um, and uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and um, I'll catch up with you guys with another video soon. Peace out.